All right, so we had a big old snowstorm here in Fairbanks, some record snow, and uh, I was ready with my snowblower, so I thought, but uh, I got over a foot and uh, just couldn't couldn't get it, wouldn't move. Anyways, and of course in Fairbanks, you can't get uh, snowblower tire chains anywhere. So basically, I just took what I had in my garage, some pretty big chain. Uh, but the way that this is treaded, if you use little chain, even going diagonal, it just fall, it falls in the tread so much, uh, it's not really that good. So I almost had to use this big chain. Um, then all I did was, uh, grab a eighth inch aircraft cable, uh, just a little bit of it. And then the little, you know, the little saddle or clamp, whatever you call it. And I put a vice grip on one end and stuck the other end in, uh, the vice. And just pulled on it and then so that it wouldn't rub on the inside i made that loop a lot uh, a lot bigger but it seems to work uh, pretty good i can't really show you with one hand on the camera one hand on the machine but uh, i did a little bit back in the back in the backyard and it worked out pretty well so in a pinch if you live somewhere like this where you just can't get squat at the store, it's always, you know, wait weeks and then maybe it'll come in. Yeah, so that's what I did, evenly spaced, use eight eight pieces and there you go, take it off, just uh, loosen it up and pull them off. But really here it snows so much that I'll probably just leave them on. I don't, I don't, I don't, so the tires are basically useless. I tried to buy a track machine, but uh, those weren't available even in spring in uh fall they weren't available and they certainly weren't available during the middle of winter just partially because of the covid apparently everybody just got the the year off uh myself i've been working but anyways well hopefully if someone's in a pinch and you can't get tire chains and well if you got chain and a little cable and some clamps you could do it and uh work pretty good i'm gonna try and clear the rest of my yard before the next couple of weeks because it's going to melt and uh, try to keep my yard from turning into a pond.